Hello and welcome back to another video. So I haven't uploaded in a while and I know that. So here's a video since a lot of you guys are asking. Today I will be showing you how to make a how to script a actual bending gangway. So uh, I'll be using mesh deformation, which is basically a bunch of bones or just two bones and they are placed into the mesh and they can bend the mesh. Uh, is why it's called mesh deformation. So right now, you, we have to weld these two bones or like attach these bones to attachment. But I will get to that later. First, I will teach you how to make the uh, actual mesh and add bones to it. So I'm in Blender right now, and first you want to. I'll just use a basic cube to demonstrate. Uh, just use a basic cube. Uh, go into edit mode, use loop cut and create um, as many loop cuts as you want. Does it matter? Uh, and then you go into, you go back into object mode. Then you add an armature, which is basically the bone. Uh, if we go into wireframe, we can see we have that bone. Uh, it's what people use to actual actually animate. So if I rotate, if I rotate it like this, if I rotate the X, uh, and then I go into edit mode. Uh, let me scroll in a bit, and then select this and scale it. It will scale the bone. So I want to have two. We have this we have this side and we want to extrude this side over to here so you press e uh, or depending on whatever key binds you have for uh, extrude, extruding and then you want to keep it sort of aligned in the middle and there you have your bones finished so now you want to uh, click cube and click armature and click Control p Select cube and then select armature. Control P. Do um, with armature deform with automatic weights. And boom, you have your mesh done. So if we want to test it, go into pose mode. Select this. And we can say, see, we can turn the mesh. Uh, with the more loop cuts you have, the more it should bend. Uh, so I'm just going to import this mesh into or export it as FBX, call it Bello Tutorial 2 because I had another recording for this, but so export FBX, you can export it to whatever name you want. So let's go back into Roblox Studio and let's open import 3D. And then find where your uh, uh, bellow mesh is, and then import. Now you have it. Uh, it'll appear kind of big, so you can just scale it down. Uh, and yeah, so let me scale it down. And then if you want to just get rid of initial pose and animation controller, because you don't really need it. Uh, so now that you have the fellow, you can test it out by going into here. You have bone and you have uh, bone 001. So we can just move this and test the uh, bone. So with the more loop cuts you have, I think it should be able to be more smoother, but I just went with five loop cuts. So now that we have the cube, um, we first have to make a script with it because you can't really weld this and actually bend it in game. Um, so we gotta make a script for that. Um, I'll, I'll demonstrate with this cube and with uh, this mesh and then this mesh um, later. So let me grab a part, scale it one by one by one, and then put it relatively close to the middle duplicate again and have two of these same parts 
So now you want to have a ball and socket constraint. Just put that there and put that there. Uh, show constraint details. And then we have it like that. So first we want to turn off can collide and turn on anchored. And then we want to move these parts relatively close to the bone. Uh, it can be as close as you want, but you want to see the actual arrows of the bones first. So we have to determine which bone is the left one and which bone is the right one. And then connect it to the attachment. So let me put these two parts in here. Make sure not to rename any of the bones, okay? Uh, they won't work after you rename them. So let me um, rename this to Gangway. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so let's call this one left and this one right. So attachment zero is going to be connected to bone. So we want to rotate attachment zero. So the arrows are exactly the same. Uh, do not rotate bone because that will just rotate your mesh. Only rotate attachment zero. So if I just try to rotate the arrows into the same place as bone, uh, make sure the arrows are pointing in the same direction. The yellows are pointing this way and the right the oranges are pointing this way. Um, the arrows may differ depending on how you create your mesh, but you just need the attachments to match up with the arrows. So bone 001, um, here, let me move this mesh into replicate storage. Um, so now attachment one will be relative to attachment 001. So the yellow is going down. So we want to rotate. We want to rotate, rotate it like this, and we have them in the relatively same position, or rotation. Uh, if you don't do this, your mesh will look up, will look really deformed, will look really weird and wonky. So I'll make sure you do this. Um, now you can move your mesh, your parts as close as you want. Don't move your bones. Move your parts as close as you want. Uh, but as but this is close enough, you can do it as, uh, like this close. So now is on to the scripting part because we want to weld or like connect these two, connect the bone and the attachment together. So first, let's make a new script and we'll call this bone handler. We can put this in gangway, I'm pretty sure. So let's create two object values. And let's call this bone one, this one bone two. Okay, so first, uh, I'll just make the script um, uh, kind of easy to read. So, and not like three lines long. So first we want to get run service. So local run service equals game get service run service. Um, let's get bone one. So local bone one equals script dot bone one dot value. Local bone two, same thing, equals script dot bone two dot value. So let's get bone one. Bone one will be the one on the left. So bone and bone two will be bone zero zero one. Now they have both bones. Let's do run service dot heartbeat connect function. So this is just loop over and go over again to make sure the bone one is in the right position. Uh, let's duplicate these two one more time. Let's call this attach one and attach zero. So attach one will be Attachment zero and attach zero or no attach zero will be uh, attach zero and attach one will be attachment one. 
So local attachment one or attachment zero equals script dot attach zero dot value local attachment one equals script dot attach one dot value. So now we have two attachments. We want to make sure we want to make sure the C frame of this bone, the world C frame, is in the same position as attachment zero. So we, how we do that is in the script we do bone one dot world bone one dot bone one dot uh, let me find it it's bone one bone one dot attack dot world eh? Uh, I don't think. Okay, never mind. Forget. Get rid of bone one. Oh, there's two bone ones. Hold on. Uh, get rid of this bone one. Dot world C frame equals attachment. Attachment. Uh, attachment zero dot world C frame, and we can just duplicate that. Um, bone two dot world C frame equals attachment one. So I can do other variations of this script. I'm just doing it this way so it is much easier to read. So if I test it, the mesh should appear like this. Uh, collisions. I don't know about collisions, but. Yeah, so let me make the cube transparency like 0 0.4. Uh, so basically you want to weld the left cube or left part to the left side of your train or bus and right and right side right part to the right side of your bus. So if I just move my part, you can see it rotates. So that's how it actually bends. Um and yeah, so I will just demonstrate with the actual this gangway and you can actually see it in full product. So let me just copy these two and put it side here and group this. Hold on. Okay, so as we do this, we want to make sure the attachments are actually in the right place. So left. Okay, we got to make sure attachment zero, attachment zero. Attachment one is attachment one. Um, okay, so... Bone is the one on the right, so we want to make sure attachment zero is connected to the bone on the right. Or no, attachment zero is connected to attachment zero zero one. So let's see, we rotate attachment zero one eighty like this, and we rotate. We see this. Attachment one, we rotate it like this. Okay, so attachment one. Um, if I see, attachment one is getting connected to bone two, and bone two will be be this bone, and it will be vice versa. So I've had to test it right now, and I okay. I don't know why it disappeared. Uh, anchor it maybe. I rotate it. You can see it moves. 
So I think you want to um, weld this mesh to a certain part. Um, but yeah, so you can see it rotates. You know, it's really cool. Um, it's how um, IK avatars work using bones. Uh, so yeah, you just want to weld left side to the left side of your trainer bus and right side to the right side of your trainer bus. So I'm just keeping this tutorial relatively short. Um, I will leave this um, model in the description so you don't have to make your own. Um, but I won't do any of the scripts because yeah. Um, so yeah, so yeah, this is tutorial. Um, uh, if you have any questions, join the Discord server and I will be happy to respond. Um, I'll also be releasing a few more videos of my train chassis, which will be remastered because I'm restarting the tutorial. Um, and yeah, so mesh deformation, it's really cool. Um, so thanks for watching and have a good day or good night. Thanks.